Delphine. France and the Netherlands, two traditional Muay Thai rivals in Europe. The Frenchman, a year older, but gives up seven centimeters in height. Let's go to Dominic Clark. Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is three rounds of three minutes in a featherweight one Super Series Muay Thai contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a Super Muay Thai champion, standing at 180 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record and kickboxing record of 42 wins and seven losses. Training out of Fairtex, representing France. Please welcome Johan Fairtex Drey. And now, introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He is a two time European kickboxing champion, standing at 187 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 25 wins and nine losses. Training out of RAD Trenian, representing the Netherlands. Give it up for Brad Pinas. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Atsushi Onari. Hi, Dom. Okay, is my turn okay? It's okay. It's okay. Final instructions from referee Atsushi Onari. Round comes in on a five-week can. He says Trey crumbles under pressure. Plans to pounce on him and apply the pressure from the opening bell. Says he'll knock out Johan Trey. Trey, a six-week camp. Works on competing with these four-ounce clubs. Says he's more powerful than Brown. Believes he'll decision him. These are some giant featherweights. 70 kilos. Each one is over 180 centimeters. Let's see who pulls the trigger first here. It's Brown in the black. Trey in the pink. Inside leg kick from Johan Trey. I was talking to uh, Brown earlier today, and I noticed that his legs come up to my chest. Look at how long his legs are. I'd love to see him utilize that. Right there, he says there's a nice little rear push kick. Brown did a lot more sparring in camp. In fact, this one, that Dutch style sparring. If you know about Dutch style sparring, Brown is the hardest sparring in the world in combat sports. The sparring sessions in Holland are the equivalent to a real deal contest. They go at a hammer and tong. And already you see both these men launching the heavy artillery here in the first. Round controlling sends a cage, gets out of range of the leg kick, fakes a jab, goes to the inside cry. Trey goes head hunting. Jab from Brown. Trey goes downstairs, circles off to his left. Left hook there from Johan Trey. Jab two from Brown. They clinch up. Beautiful attack there from Johan Fairtex Trey. That Go. was excellent. Straight back to the feet here. Tip kick to the lead leg there from Johan Trey. Outside leg kick from Brown. Great from Trey. Great colorful crunchet armbands on Johan Fairtex Trey here. Beautiful two box combination. Backs up Brown with that one. Right hand landed heavy from Trey on Brown. Already a completely different Johan Fairtex Trey to what we saw against Smoke and Joe Nuttall last time out. Jab two again, he backs up Brown, jumping knee. Johan Trey, house on fire, opening round. Chance for the knees and referee, oh, now he breaks that. Ready, go. Lots of instructions coming from the corner of Brown. Takes an outside fire again. Tip kick to the lead leg there from Johan Trey. Brown needs to pull the trigger a little. He's having a little bit of hesitancy. He looks a little bit cautious. He doesn't want to close that distance too quick. Is the power coming from Dre? Overhand right there from Trey. Nice lead knee in the side the waist of the Frenchman. Knee there for Brown. Both men trade knees as they can go back against the wire. It's interesting clinch position from Dre. You can see he grabbed his own wrist rather than going palm to palm with the clinch. And that was able to keep Brown's arms really high. 
seconds of what's been a great round for Johan Fertig. System. Wherever you're scoring at home, write it down on your little notepad. Give the winning combatant 10 points, the loser of the round 9 points. Ah, beautiful little fade back there from Johan Dre as he comes forward with 1-2. So he's mixing it up really well. He's counter-striking, but he's also keeping Brown on his back foot as well. Muay Thai bout between the arch rivals from Europe, France and the Netherlands. Inside the newly Redone Stadium Astora in the sporting precinct of downtown Jakarta, Indonesia. Trey dominance in the first. Kick down to the low. Good. Rapid fire combination of the hands from Trey. Front kick from Brown. Brown hasn't had a chance to use his elbows there. One of his prime weapons on the inside. This is a confidence and well thought out performance from Johan Fertig's track. Doubles up on the left roundhouse kick, chest the low kick, counter right hand. There's the elbow from Trey. The timing, Michael, of that elbow was something special. Johan Dre was pushing forward in that it's exchange. Brown swivels out to the side and throws a beautiful spinning back elbow that catches Johan Dre right on the button. That is one of the greatest knockouts we've seen in one Super Series. Look at that. Textbook 101, a turning back elbow. And it didn't go horizontal. It went up a diagonal. That's the most dangerous. That's why Brown is renowned for the elbows. It's a knockout of the highest order. Beautiful timing from Brown Pinas as he throws just the most beautiful elbow we've seen in one Super Series by Chabella. The timing exceptional. Could be the knockout of the night right there. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Atsushi Onari, has called a stop to this contest after 52 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of knockout, Brown Pinas! My word, what an ovation here for the man from the Netherlands. Just when we said he hadn't pulled the trigger on the elbows, well, he must have heard us. And Brown Pinas gets the big knockout here in Jakarta with a spinning back.